What's up, viewers? This is a new recording style, as you might know. Today, we are going to be doing a new series by Adam Marshall, yours truly. I didn't see any other channels doing this, so I think I'm first. Today, we are going to be doing representations of country flags in Minecraft as if they were in 3D. So, circles on flags, those are spheres, and a lot more. Stay tuned for really cool content, and the first 32 flags that will be here. And stay tuned for a part two. On the screen shows item frame maps of all the flags that I've made for this one video, and I'll have text on the side for all 32 that will be in it, going from top to bottom, left to right. I also made each flag be the canvas size 3 by 2 or 120 meters by 80 meters. First, we have the United States flag. I started with it first because, me personally, I'm from the United States. And I used it by making the red over the white for the stripes, having the blue square or rectangle and then having every single star individually placed on top shown 3D. Of course it's small, but there needs to fit 50, and it's in practically the perfect order of where it would be. The next flag is the United Kingdom flag. I made it because, well, it's like right next door, across the pond as you would. I made it by having a blue platform first, making the white, white cross, like cross section, then the red one, and then the plus sign over, that's white, then red. And I just had it layer as if it was cloth layering on top. Like so. The next one was the Brazilian flag. I made it because my brother-in-law is Brazilian, and I thought it'd be fun. My friend is also Brazilian, kinda, so yeah. Anyways, I made it by having a yellow diamond and then having a sphere on top of it. Don't worry about the glitch. And the sphere, I had it be decorated all around instead of just on top as it was in the actual map. So it looks pretty cool. The next flag is the Zimbabwe flag. I made it by layering green, yellow, red, then black in stripes like so and then layering the triangle white with a black outline around it. Then I made a 3D star with a little 3D um, figure, as you can see on the flag. Next up is Greece, and let me just say, I don't have any new order for these, really. Greece, I made it with... Um, Practically the same style as the US flag, except I made the square thicker up, and I also made it have a cool, I don't know what to call it, but the stripes intersect where they meet from the square, which makes it give a cool texture. The next flag is the Liberia flag, hopefully I pronounced that correct. Practically the US flag except to less stripes, I think or more. No. Yeah, less stripes and then one singular star in the place And I also made the blue rectangle one block thicker So it's different more I also made the star with sea lanterns so it glows because it's a star You know France was fairly simple. I started with a white background and then divided each side by a third, having one side blue, one side red, and then, yeah, just having it one block thick. No really cool details on it, but yeah. It's the French flag. What are you gonna do? Change it? Next is the Romanian flag, and I just made it by the same exact process I made the French one, except instead for white, I changed it with yellow terracotta. It looks surprisingly better than the French one, by my opinion, but I think that's just the yellow adding more color. Okay. 
Okay, the next one is the Niger flag. I made it by dividing dividing the square up into thirds horizontally. Top orange, bottom green, one block thicker up from white, the main plot. And then I had an orange sphere in the center. And I like spheres. I used spheres a lot for most of these flags. So yeah. Next up is the flag of Germany. And the flag of Germany, I made the base color yellow, the next one up red, and then the next one up black. The problem is, <laughs> black blends into the outline that I use for all the maps. And I was too lazy to change it, so there it is. <laughs> next one is the Ukrainian flag. I made it by having yellow terracotta as the base and splitting it in half with blue terracotta one block thicker up. It's like my least detailed flag I think, but hey, it's still country, right? <laughs> Next one is the Jamaican flag. I made it by having green base and then uh, black triangles on each side barely touching but then having the yellow uh, yellow cross overlap the black and the green and acting like a cloth and using like having a change when it goes off the black and it looks cool I like it one of my favorites this one is the flag of Greenland. I made it by starting with a white base and then uh, one block, I think, one block up with the red, and then a half a sphere out in red on the white, and then a half a sphere inwards um, of white in the red section. You can see there. I really like it because I built it when it goes underneath the world, so that's even cooler. Poland, it's fairly simple. I made it by having a white base and then a red, I think one block out, yeah one block out, and then having it divide so half of it's white, half of it's red, like that. And yeah, I really like it, um, I mean not, not it's not my favorite, but it's a simple design, sort of like the Ukraine flag. The next one is the Russian flag. I made it the same way I made Germany's, but I started with a white base and then half of it, or two quarters of it, or two thirds of it, blue and then one third red, stacking up like so. It's, again, fairly simple. Okay, now this one is the Israeli flag. I started with a white base, and then I had two strips going in through each side as you can see. And then for the triangles, I had one triangle go from, you know, the base to have it go upwards. And then I had them intersect. I really like how I made the triangles. This is also one of my favorite. The next one is the Yemen flag, hopefully I pronounced that good. Um, I made it by having one block, like the base black, and then I think one or two blocks up white, and then one and two more blocks uh, red. And I like it because, well, I, I chose it because my friend, I don't know him that well, but his name is based off of this flag, or this country, which is also cool. The next one is the Qatar flag, hopefully I pronounced that good. I made it with a white base and the netherrack top, netherrack because it's a different type of red. And then I had the divisions of the spikes go like that. I made it because at the time the World Cup was happening and I'm pretty sure um, it was hosted or somewhere was hosted in Quebec. So that's, that's why I made that one. And it's one block up for netherrack. 
the next one Turkish flag I made it with a red base and then I had a white moon crescent and then a white star the star is directly in the middle moon crescent I made by having a big circle and then cut it out with a smaller circle there and then just made it 3d and it, it was kind of hard but I'd say pretty good yeah Okay, the next one is the Netherlands flag. I made it by having a white base to start off with, then I think 10 blocks up, blue, and from white, 10 blocks or 20 blocks up for red. I like it because it's thicker layers, but then again, it makes it harder to see the whole entire thing. You have to go really high up. is the Bangladesh flag. I like it because, um, well, it's just a big sphere. I had a green and then the sphere, same size as the Japan flag, which we'll get to next. I made it first though, because I wanted to make Japan first. But then I realized Bangladesh looks exactly like it. So I'll just do that. I did notice, however, Bangladesh's circle is off-centered by a little bit and I'm too lazy to fix it. So yeah. next one is the Japanese flag, sorry, Japanese, and it's the same concept, centered circle, and then white background. Fairly simple. flag of Indonesia. This one is practically like a backwards version of the other one, you know, uh, but I had deeper for white and then higher for red, so it's kind of like different, you know. This next one is one of my favorites. It's the Georgian flag, or Georgia, yeah. Um, but not the state, the country. I made it with a white background and then a red cross, like so. And then I had a bunch of these like cool stands here in each corner. I personally liked how I found out how to make it from 2D to 3D by using my own representation. I personally like it. The next one is the Tonga flag, and I use it by making different, a red background with a white square on top, and then I had the, you know, piece. I had a 3D plus sign, as you will, and I had that in the center of the white spot. Sort of similar to Georgia's, not really. The Colombian flag is next, and I made it by having a, a yellow background, and then having half of the bottom blue, and then having a quarter to the bottom red. I personally like it because, well, I mean, it's not one of my favorite actually, um, but it's cool, you know? Bahamas I made by having first a blue background and then a uh, yellow stripe through it and then I decided to have the black instead of sticking out go all the way down and then I continue the cyan and the yellow as you can see there. I personally like this one because of how much 3D it is by having the black deep underground as deep as I can go. The next one is the Dominica flag. I made it by having a green background first and then having a um, a yellow plus sign that's a couple blocks up, then a black one that's, you know, off-centered a little, or no, directly centered, and then a white one that's in the same direction. And then I made a cylinder with a inverse sphere through it. And then I made all those green bushes and the bird with the eye as the pressure plate. And I really like it. It's really cool. 
And then the next one, I guess we'll go straight into it, is uh, the Saint Lucia flag by having a blue background and then a triangle that meets in the center, which is the yellow one, and then the outline of another triangle that meets two times higher, that's the white one, and then having it go a little deep using black. And I really like it, it's a really fun one. Next one is the St. Kit and Nevis flag. I started by having half of the side green, half of it red, and then creating the little hubby, uh, dividing it from yellow, and then I had black go deep and made two white stars in it. I didn't make a glowstone, I just left it white. But I like it. It's fun. And it's upside down stars, so yeah. Next one is the St. Vincent and Greenindies, um, which is the longest name one. And I made it by having yellow background and then um, one side blue, one side green, and then having the three 3D diamonds in the center with, of course, one in the center in the center, as you can see, which is also lower. I don't know why I said in the center in the center, but yeah, it's cool. Finally, the last flag, the Palau flag, I made simply by having a blue background and then the yellow sphere. The yellow sphere is the same exact sphere that I used from the Japan one, but I just changed the color. And I made this one off-centered because I noticed it was off-centered. So that's fun, I guess. And that is the first 30 flags done in Minecraft, at least represented by 3D, which is a new thing I don't think anyone has done. If you want more, please subscribe. I will be making a second video, making the next 32 impact as of recording this audio. I finished um, 64 total. So yeah, be ready for part two. There will be individual flag shorts to be shown on my main channel, so check those out if you get a chance. And yeah, thank you for uh, subscribers. <laughs> I think almost 20 as of recording this, so thank you. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah. See ya. Bye.